stop down in the basement and head into the nether room. This pathway right here is that really long path that goes all the way down to the portal down there on the other side where there is the, well there's a spider uh, experience farm down there and on the surface is ocean outpost number one. What I need to do is to get this thing widened to three blocks wide and put down a minecart track because it's really a pain in the butt walking it. Even going through the shortcut of the nether, it's a pain in the butt walking that uh, that far, so... I think it's time to get it ready for a minecart track. And so I'm just gonna carve this thing three blocks wide. bunch of the ways, but uh, burned up my pick in the process, so need to head back and grab another one. And then I can finish getting this tunnel cut and bring in some track and make it easier to get from one end to the other. It would probably be a good idea if I ate. Then I'd be able to sprint. drop all this crap off here. Uh, yeah, that too. Just uh, make up a bunch of cobblestone picks. I haven't done that in a while. Let's go ahead and take the sticks with me. I'll just use these suckers to chew through that netherrack. No sense in using the diamond on that anyway. The only reason I used that one diamond pickaxe because it was almost dead to begin with. Okay, let's see. All right, let's just start on this other aisle here. Arg. Oh. 
Jeez, watch where you're freaking going. Well, I'm getting close to the end. And that's how I know, because I can see it. here the end of the road There was a reason I had this wall here. <laughs> and they were it. Alright, I am out of picks, so I'm going to jump through this portal, because there's, that's where the closest crafting table is, and come up with some more. I think at this point, just the one more of these will suffice for right now. See, the uh, spider experience farm is off that way, and up there, that's Ocean, o Ocean Outpost number one. Gas proof. All right. Actually, I think I might have some track. Maybe might have some tracks up here from uh, stuff that I've pulled out of the abandoned mine shafts around this area. So I'm going to go up and take a look. you can't sprint going upstairs. Why is it that every time I come out here lately it's raining? Okay, no minecart tracks there. Good diamond pick. Cool. I think I'll leave it here for use in the mine shafts. In the meantime, no track. Okay. A 
something to use when my cobble things run off. Oh, wait a minute. Clay. Uh, yes, I want to take that back. I have a use for it later on. Some track, but not much. Some iron picks. I'll trade them for the stone. How about that? Alright. What's cooking? More clay. Just in time to pick up the last piece. Excellent. to head back and pick up the track that's needed. And I think along the way I'm probably going to use a line of netherrack or something to get an idea of how long, how much of this stuff I'm going to need. Actually, I should just simply uh, use my F3 coordinates. Alright. Let's have the track come up to probably there. And that would put the button here, although probably on sandstone. So, all right, which coordinate are we using? X, okay. So we go from X272 to the other end. And that'll tell me how much track to bring. Alright, I have another stopper right about there, I guess it is. And button block there. And here we're at X3. All right. So now I know how much track to go get. I'm going to hop through here, take a minecart back to the main pace, and go get that track. All right. Just arriving back after stopping in to pick up about four and a half stacks of track and some powered rails, and of course. Some minecarts. All right. All right. So let's get down here and get to business. I just need to duck back through and get a redstone dot. There's not one here. Figures I'd forget something. Navigate the door. Jeez. 
Let's make this happen. And I prefer to use sandstone because I can actually see buttons on sandstone. You're going to be that kind of stubborn, aren't you? Divvy this track up. All right, that's a start. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm off by a block. Well, I'll just have to fix it later. But I need to be in the center of this thing. Somebody's being rude. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, let's put an end to you two. going before another one comes along. track. And I'll go ahead and bury the rest of these uh, redstone torches later. For now, let's see how dangerous of a ride this is.
I may end up going and encasing that uh, one area in glass just so that they won't shoot at me. And I need to get some torches in through here. But this is already a big improvement because it beats the daylights out of uh, walking. Just to cover this up, some half slabs. Will that mess with the cart? Doesn't look like it. Excellent. All right. That's taken care of. And now, let's see. I'm sure there was something. I'm going to have to step through here and have a look around because I think it might have been something in here. 